Welcoming you into Valley Football Center, Brendan Slaughter alongside Keenan Punkocher from BeaversEdge.com where we just wrapped up Jonathan Smith's introductory press conference. Keenan, what are some of your just initial thoughts and reactions from Smith's press conference? Well, I think first takeaway is just the confidence level of Jonathan Smith. He seemed like a guy really determined to turn this program around, seemed like he knew how he was going to do it. And I think there were some questions coming in how he was going to handle the pressure, maybe the press conference. Right not maybe the greatest public speaker out there, but he, I thought he really handled it well. He was enthusiastic, that coupled with Ed Ray's enthusiasm, and Scott Barnes, I thought overall, it was really well done. Yeah, the thing that really stuck out to me the most is he wants to bring back a proven winner to Oregon State. The other thing was, that I feel like kind of got brushed over a little bit was, again, it's talk, but Scott Barnes said, Basically, money would be no object for assistant coaches and that Jonathan Smith would be able to get whoever he wanted with a competitive salary pool. Keenan, does that kind of excite you, knowing that maybe you could go get a big name like, you know, Oregon did with Jim Levitt or whatever and be able to pay a lot of money to get someone big? Yeah, certainly, and I think it opens a lot of doors as to who that defensive coordinator might be as right. well because, as we've talked about, it's an area that I think this team needs to focus on a lot as well. You hire Jonathan Smith maybe for the quarterback, the offensive knowledge, I like the fact that maybe he can have whoever he wants, that defensive coordinator pick, that can help out a lot. Right, and then in addition to all that, he obviously has some big decisions coming up. Can he convince Ryan Nall to stay? Can he convince Thomas Tyner to apply for that six year? A lot of questions still surrounding the program. I mean, if you're like a guy like Ryan Nall, are you inspired by Smith to maybe come back for your last year? Or are you already pushing yourself out the door. Well, I think as, as Jonathan just said in that press conference, he, he's going to take a time to talk to players, get right. to know them, maybe figure out what their angle is first. And I think if you are Ryan All and others, you have to at least hear the new coach out and right. see his vision, see how maybe he plans to utilize you, see his strategy going forward. I think at the very least they owe that to him because he took the time. He's planning to be, turn this you know program around. I think at the very least to hear him out and, and make that decision going forward. Yeah, and then the one more thing from the press conference that really, that really uh, was, seemed cool to me is he was rocking that 2000-2001 Pac-10 Pac championship ring. Obviously buffed it out a little bit, been 17 years, but at the, uh, it's cool that they were able to inspire something that, you know, not very many people think you can win at Oregon State, so I think that's interesting to bring up. So stay tuned to BeaversEdge.com for more content from myself, Keenan, and much more. Thanks.